Hi everybody and welcome back. We're very excited to, to do a new video today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know it's been a while since we've posted a video. We've been a little um, busy. We've had our basement renovated and we've had new tiling put down and new baseboards and new casings and new doors and paint and and uh, new lights put in the ceiling. It's, it's really very awesome. However, now our job is putting everything back together. We're, we're almost there. We've gotten the furniture. Thankfully, we have some really good people in this community who have helped us uh, move furniture down into the basement. That there's no way Edie and I could have done it on our own. In fact, we tried to move a, <laughs> we tried to move a bookcase down to the basement once a few maybe about a month or so ago. Anyway, and uh, we got it to the top of the landing and then we both realized that once we tipped it, it was really heavy and once we tipped it to go down the stairs, whoever was on the bottom side of it would be under the, the bookcase at the bottom of the stairs because it was so heavy. So we called a friend of ours here in town and he got, uh, he wasn't in town but he called somebody he knew and, and who didn't know us but his friend and, and his friend's friend came over and moved that down in the basement for us. This is just such a wonderful community. They are so willing to help. Anyway, um, we decided today to do another video. Like I say, I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna share with you a recipe. And this recipe is just called Simple Spanish Rice. And it's the rest, the way I'm going to make the recipe is with some dehydrated vegetables and, and or freeze-dried vegetables or freeze-dried freeze uh, rice. However, I think this recipe can be easily adapted if you want to use fresh vegetables and, and just regular rice. I think it's very easily adaptable. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this one. So come on over. Okay, first thing that we're going to do is put a cup of water in a skillet, a quarter of a cup of, oh that's not it, freeze-dried onions, Three quarters of a cup of freeze-dried mixed peppers. These are green and red peppers, it looks like. And then three quarters of a cup of sweet corn. And then we're going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to put a lid on top of it and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The water has boiled off and uh, now we're just going to add a couple of other things. What I did find out is that I should have waited to add the corn until this step, but it'll be fine I'm sure. So we're going to add a cup and a half of salsa. and two cups of chicken broth and this is still a little frozen but I bet it unfreezes real quick in this pan and this actually isn't chicken broth I didn't have chicken broth but I had beef broth so that's what we're using and then a cup and a half of white rice but we have brown rice so that's what we're using and this is three quarters of a cup so I just need to do two of these I'm going to stir that up. And I'm just going to put the lid back on and let this simmer for another 15 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, the rice is all done and it really smells wonderful. You'll have to come in and take a look at this. This is the simple Spanish rice. And I'm just going to try just a little bit. That has a really good flavor. Mm, that's good. Let me know if you tried this recipe, and especially if you try it with um, fresh vegetables and regular rice as opposed to freeze-dried or dehydrated. I'd really like to know how it turns out. 
and don't go away because right following this video is a little something more. Hi everyone. I know everybody's surprised here we are. I know we haven't been around for a while. It's been an interesting year even in with everything going on. It seems like we should have less to do with with COVID and keeping us home, but I, I think I had more to do this year. So, um, so we're back and we'll probably be back sporadically. <laughs> I'd like to tell you that we had a schedule to do this on, but yeah, they're not going to fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we are, but hopefully all of you had a good Christmas and, um, we did, we had a really nice one. It kept it kept it a little more simplified. We tried to focus our gifts on the Savior more and what we gave out to other people. But um, we received a ton of things. We live in the very best community and we've probably said that before, but I can't name everything that people left for us and I don't want anybody to feel slighted who watches our, our videos that they weren't mentioned. So just know that <clears throat> we appreciated everything we we got every gift was just special and memorable. I'm just going from our family and our friends. Absolutely, all of, them. all of it. But I am going to give a couple of things honorable mention. <laughs> this is one I have to show this, and it's a week old, so it's dying a little bit. But this one was a surprise. This is brought to us from a lady in our community, and evidently the white flowers are Edelweiss, and the red are carnations, and she said just came over one night and said, and she was wearing a mask and everything, but she says, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and your sister. Sandy wasn't here, so it was me. And, and um, just that you're so kind to me and that you're always saying hi and, and making me feel part of the community. And so she says, I hope that this just brightens your Christmas a little bit. And I said, it just did. It, it made me emotional to get, to get this from someone. And what, what we learn from this is that you never know what kind of an impact you're going to have on somebody's life. Just by saying hi, just saying how are you, just just smiling at them. You, you don't know what that will do for somebody. So it's just something that we need to do more often is just make sure that we, we acknowledge people and let them know that we know they're there and that we see them. That is really true. I learned a valuable lesson that off of this. I also had a carton of oranges left on my porch or our porch rather but and Sandy wasn't here then either but I but I eat one every day and I I just what a great gift it sounds like nothing but it's it was huge to me because I actually had thought about going and getting some oranges and some having some citrus on hand so I always have a little bit of fruit when I first get up because I'm hypoglycemic so nobody needs me fainting and by nobody I mean Sandy and um, it's happened before it's it has not pretty. happened anyways it's just a great community we've had so more than just the oranges and the flowers I'd say they're getting honorable mention but there were there was so much more and I loved everything so it's just been a great Christmas in spite of the pandemic going on and hopefully we're on the decline. I don't know if we are, but I'm always hopeful. So, so that being said, one of the great gifts, one of the many great gifts we got just, and we're sharing this because it was such a great idea at this time, especially mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. as, all the shortages that are in the store right now. This, this is such a great idea. Yeah. In fact, her, her daughter-in-law and son have a freeze dryer. They were at their house about three or four months ago. They were even freeze drying, was it cheesecake? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, they freeze dry everything. And, and this just happens to be from my, from that son and daughter-in-law. We, we haven't even gone through everything yet because we want to do it on a video. So mm -hmm. we're going to share it with you. So they, so this was their gift to Sandy and I get to share because I live here and uh, which I thought was a, Fabulous idea. Spinach and kale powder, which is great for smoothies. And these are all in Mylar bags. And as Edie said, she, they froze dry, freeze dried, <laughs> freeze dried all of this and yeah. put it in Mylar bags. And there's more of that. So there's several, I think, or at least a couple so far of spinach and kale powder. And then several eggs. And they've even got on here two tablespoons eggs plus two tablespoons of water equals an egg, so one egg. So if you take two tablespoons of this 
this powder now and then with water it'll you'll have the equivalent of an egg so we've got several of those and um, eggs oh we got quite a few of the, this is wonderful sweet potato powder we both love sweet potatoes in fact Sandy makes our own version of bread with potatoes and so that's great for for that I also use it in muffins yes and you've used sweet potatoes even in smoothies, haven't you? I don't know, but I don't we can. Think so, but we we could give it a go. Yes. Yeah, so we've got several sweet potato powders. Um, might be. Oh, more eggs. That's wonderful. And eggs are great for baking too. It looks like the majority is the, of what we have here is the sweet potato powder. Pull out some of the potatoes. jars. So, yes, and pulling those out, we've got lemon slices. This is lime no, slices. No, sorry, lime slices. And they're freeze-dried. And my son and daughter-in-law were telling me that if you put that in a jug of water, it's really tasty and, and it's strong. So I want to try that. More of those. Yeah, it looks like we have four bottles of, of that. But we have, so yeah, four bottles of the lime slices. The rest of this is sweet potato, but I... We have one, two, three, there's roughly 10 more packages of Mylar bags of the sweet potato powder. So we are in great shape. So just, we wanted to share that because what a great idea. So mm -hmm. now that we've all gone through this pandemic for a year and, and we've been able to see the shortages and we've read articles of more shortages, if this thing keeps on, those same shortages are coming back. Expect cleaning supplies, all the things that were already gone. Your nut butters are a big one too. Things that people can have on hand that just open without needing, you know, an electric can opener or anything like that. That's what people hoard. Of course, your paper products too. And toilet paper, of course, went off the shelves. And they're expecting another shortage this spring of it too if things keep going this way. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's another strain of this coronavirus coming out. I have, since I'm not a medical person and I didn't create the, the vaccine, I didn't create the pandemic either, but I didn't create the vaccine. I have no idea if this new vaccine or that are several of them coming up will even address the new strain coming out. But it's in England and the first case has been reported as of right now in France and who knows how much farther it will go and it's a more contagious version and so I just I guess my question is will the vaccine even address the newer strain or maybe it does I have no idea but, but just be careful out there be careful get prepared prepare yeah. yourselves and yeah and I have to say now that we've all gone through this this year what a great Christmas gift for next year even if things are okay next year look how fast this hit and so it's a good idea if you think something would work like that in your family or friends to give out give out some freeze-dried food or something else. Even a box of wipes people would be grateful for. So, um, so we just wanted to share that a little bit. And not only did this hit fast, but it didn't take very long for the shelves to empty in the stores. So mm -hmm. as Evie said, get prepared. We are very, as she said also, we're very grateful for all of our gifts. Love them all from our family and our friends. This one is just such a timely gift for what's going on now. We are very thankful for that as well. Mm -hmm. So you all stay safe. You um, please be careful. Take care of yourself and your families. And anything else? I think that's it. And have a great new year. And let's hope that 2021 is better. And if if not, let's just make it better. It, it just is what it is. We're going to do the best we can. So make it a good year, whatever happens. And we'll be back another time. We don't know how long. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but we'll see you again. Yes, we are going to be doing more... Um, more um Something. Re renovating there so who knows yeah what that'll look like that has taken a lot of our time it has but things are looking up yes all right take care you guys <laughs>